Hello, welcome back. I'm not looking at my finest right now, but we're just going to deal with it and we're going to make a start. I've not vlogged for a little while, so I thought I've got some plans this weekend. Maybe we'll do a nice wintry seasonal vlog out of that. I am not going all in on the Christmas vibes. Um, I think when you lose people, Christmas stops being Christmas. And this isn't my first Christmas. This is my second. Um, but I've lost more people since then. And I don't know, it just, it stops being Christmas. So last year I kind of just pretended that it wasn't happening altogether, I literally went to another country. And this year I'm, I was thinking, okay, right, I'm not, I'm not like all in, I'm not all in with the joy. I'm actually, I'm finding it a bit great in all of the Christmas everywhere, if I'm being totally honest. But I do appreciate a light smattering of festivity. So that's what I envision this weekend being. I'm going to do festive stuff and I'm going to focus on spending time with one of my favourite people. The thing that's kind of prompted all of that is I've got my um, Christmas decorations down here. My mum brought them up this morning, um, accompanied by the dog. Got to see my little baby this morning. Ruby! Ruby, where is she? Hello! 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 Hello, baby. Good girl. Yeah, things like that. yeah, I was debating even whether to put the tree up, but I think I'm going to. I'm looking at the stuff now and thinking, yeah, it's cute. I'm going to do it. Izzy's coming later on today and I'm actually not feeling fab, so I do need to rest. So I'm thinking I've done the work I need to do. Out of office is on. Lunch, decorations, rest, fun. <laughs> We're hopefully going to go to the cinema this evening to see Wonka. We've got plans at Castle Howard tomorrow and Sunday. I think if I'm still alive by then, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Maybe do something like that. But anyway, hope you're well. Um, thank you for watching as always. And I'll catch you in a bit. Tell you what, we are not thriving today. <laughs> I'll be okay. I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this today. I don't know what I've done. My hands as well. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but my hands are flaring. Um, I've got a really weird condition in my hands. I don't actually know if I've mentioned that in a video before, but I'll link a blog post below if you're interested in my weird hands. But it's been quite bad today. They've been really painful. Um, but. Right, I need to slowly get up, pull myself together, and Izzy's on the way now, so the lovely stuff can begin. <laughs> I forgot to vlog, but that's an accurate summary of where we're at in our evening at the minute. <laughs> we're going to the cinema. What are we going to see? Wonka. 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 Don't really know what else to add to that. We'll give you our verdict. I don't really know anything about this film. Just while I'm going up the slowest platform lift ever in the cinema world, I thought I'd mention that Wonka was good. It didn't really blow either of us away. Um, I enjoyed it, but... It felt like they were really shooting for this kind of whimsical, magical vibe and it didn't really come through, in my opinion. I think it'd be a really great like background movie for Christmas and it did have that sort of festive feel to it a little bit, but yeah, not my favourite, but I'm still glad I got to see it. Thanks. Oh, I've got a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to eat like this. <laughs> morning it's another beautiful grey rainy day in York today um it's coming well no it's gone past 9 a.m I'm running late this morning I've had quite a chaotic morning woke up feeling not very well the flush has fallen off my toilet I don't know how or why it's chosen to do this now so I'm trying to sort that out this morning we are off to we're going to try and get in Mama Doreen's. I've just realised, I haven't actually checked that they've got availability. And then we're going to Castle Howard for their Christmas, um, like, exhibition. They do one every Christmas year. Christmas in Neverland. Christmas in Neverland, yeah. Neverland is the theme this year. So when we saw that, we were like, yeah, we've got to go. Every year we say we're going to go. This year we're actually doing it. The 
the rain strikes again. <laughs> You'd never look better. Do you know what? It does kind of work actually. I've got your eyes. I'm trying to pick which one is the least bad. Let me have it okay. in the style of true GCSE drama. Two words. A, it's a TV show. What well, first word? Pippa. You. The. Idiot. Second word. Pig. Farm. The farm. The, the animal farm. No word. <laughs> first thing you said. You said all the people go. The farm. Pig. Okay. What? So the second word's pig. First word is. Pippa. Oh, Peppa Pig! We're so good at this. <laughs> Okay, we are thriving. <laughs> you can speak for yourself. I've never looked better. Um, we are waiting for the Castle Line bus, which is something of a mythical bus in North Yorkshire. Uh, it's anybody's guess whether it's going to turn up or not, but it's our only way to get to Castle Howard. So it's fingers crossed. I was it's about. Not a, it's not a bus. It's a rumor. <laughs> it's a myth. And I still haven't found a plumber. So my toilet flush is still detached from the toilet. <laughs> Drivers whistling, enjoy that. positive. <laughs> I did that with my eyes. <laughs> All being well, we are going to try and go to, is it Thor's? Thor's in the museum gardens, um, which should be really nice. Hopefully not too busy, if it's too busy. <laughs> Hopefully not too busy, don't remember why I'm So again, once again in this vlog, good luck to us. <laughs> Oh my god, it's got a step! Oh. 
Oh, it looks like I've got a halo. Right, what has happened of significance since I last vlogged? We tried to go to... Thor's bar. Thor's bar. And we, well, we couldn't get the wheelchair in. It wasn't wheelchair accessible, first of all. And then we did get the wheelchair in and it was extremely crowded and just not a very nice environment. So we didn't go there. Tried to get through town um, with some assistance from a very friendly passerby who wanted to... <laughs> Beep! They wanted to do what they could to be an ally and in the absence of anything better to do he decided to shout beep loudly um all the that way does not do it justice okay now i'm that, gonna do that again this is a guttural scream <laughs> nothing is ever gonna do justice to what actually happened and i just have to make my peace with that it's very very effective I people know. definitely got out your way yeah people probably more so than us politely going Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for my existence. Could you please just move out of the way? We're there going like, excuse me, excuse me. Random stage. Long story short, eventually we found somewhere to have a drink. It has been chucking it down with rain. We've just battled our way home and ordered a takeaway. And I am definitely struggling energy wise. Are you going to go into detail later about the actual like castle? We should do it now, really. Hang on. Yeah, right. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. My hair is very flat. Oh, my hair's just not hairy anymore. <laughs> Castle Howard, brief rundown. Um, overall verdict. It was a feast for the eyes and for the senses. It was incredibly busy, but then we did go on a Saturday in December. In hindsight, I would yeah. have gone to a relaxed performance. Also, that's the wind if you can hear it. We've, the odds have not been in our favour today. It has not been a very pleasant weather day, but we've made the most of it. I feel like the odds have been stacked against us, if I'm being honest today. Yeah. It's felt like quite a battle, but we've persevered, haven't we? We've gotten through yeah. it. If possible, I would have booked a relaxed performance, having experienced it now. A relaxed session. Um, it was very crowded. I think when we first went in, there was a moment where we were both thinking, do we actually yeah. want to do this? You know, like when you're in a queue and like people are pushing against you? Like from the back, that makes me feel really uncomfortable. And that was kind of what the, the sitch was mm -hmm. going around the house. Um, and I, I understand, you know, it's a Saturday, it's busy. It, it, you're expecting crowds and queues and everything, but we can't control the behavior of the people around us. And I think in the excitement to get through the house, they were kind of pushing into us a bit. Yeah. There were some access measures in place that I thought were really good. They had a really good stair lift. Um, they had a clear process for transferring to a manual chair because you can't take a power chair in the house. I don't know whether to mention the thing that that person said. I would, because they need to learn from their mistakes. I might feed this back to them, to be honest. I'm sure it was just unfortunate. I'm sure it was just a slip of the tongue. But one of the staff members said, we can let disabled people through here, but we can't let normal people through here, which obviously made me feel great. Um, poor choice of words. But yes, it was very busy. So I'm trying to think forgiving thoughts, but also... Ugh. I can handle a lot more sensory stuff than a lot of people in my situation can, but I found it quite a lot of sensory overload being in there. There was like flickering lights, there was a lot going on. And as Izzy said, it was absolutely beautiful, but I did find it quite hard. Um, and I was very ready to come out of it. By the end, it was a big relief to get outside. And for me, that's always a telltale sign that it's been quite difficult, but it was beautiful. I'm so torn. The bits, the bits that were good were really, really good. It was just the overall experience was a struggle and I feel quite wiped out by it. It was just a bit overwhelming, I think. A bit overwhelming. The artistry yeah. that was on display throughout that house was next level. It was just incredible. That's where in hindsight, we should have maybe you know, book the time off and gone to a relaxed yeah. viewing. It's where tricky we though, like when you when, when you yeah. both work, it's tricky. I'm glad we did it. I wouldn't be in a hurry to do it again, I don't yeah. think. I think that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. Um, it was fairly okay in a wheelchair. There were some things that my power chair, there were some steep bits that my power chair couldn't get up, but also that could just be a reflection on my power chair. Yeah. Janice has not been thriving, but what is new? We had a couple of near-death experiences on the bus on the way back. It was a very aggro bus driver. <laughs> I just really hope he's okay. <laughs> I, I, he is not okay. <laughs> it's very clear. Of all the people that I've met today, he is the one that I can say for absolute 100% certainty. He is not okay. So all the way there and all the way back, he was beeping and he was getting very agitated by other people on the road. And we got off the bus and then we it's went... his job! But the funny thing was, we got off and we went and did our own thing. And just when we were coming back... <laughs> I was sat there, we were waiting for the bus, you were in co-op, and I heard in the distance, I heard this like, rrr, 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 beeping, beeping, and I knew before turning around that it was the same guy on the same bus coming down the thing, and it was. <laughs> he was just not having a very good day. We set out to have a very wholesome day, and just things don't always go as planned. I felt like we've had, I feel like I've 
I've gone through a battle today. It's just been busy. And getting around York, it's just, uh, again, controversial opinion. I just do not like living in York at this time of year. It's a gorgeous place. It's lovely at Christmas, but it's just so hard to get from A to B as a wheelchair user. It's just, it's a lot. So I'm very glad to be home. We've ordered food. We're going to watch a the nice Grinch. movie. We're going to watch The Grinch. And oh. I'm going to put this down now and put my pyjamas on and all is well. We're still lovely. We've still had a nice day. We've still got food coming. Food! I'm hungry again already. Yeah, we've had a mild trauma with Deliveroo as well. Yeah. Um, first choice and second choice wasn't available. Eat, this food is going to come and then our first choice will be back online. Don't say that. I can't deal with the anguish. I can't deal with it. I'm not cut out for it. Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye. It's the next day. I'm going to spare you from seeing my face right now, but I did not make it out of the house today. It has very much been a bed day, a rest day. Um, I am taking a moment to appreciate these gorgeous pyjamas though. Izzy got me these for my birthday. I've always wanted some from Fat Face, um, but I could never justify getting them for myself. So this feels like a proper, proper treat. But anyway, um, that's the end of this video. I did have a really lovely couple of days. It did feel like the odds were stacked against us and it's definitely taken a toll, but I did have a really great time. And I'm so grateful that even getting out of the house and having these adventures is a possibility for me now. Thank you so much again for being here. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe if you want and I'll see you next time.